Alright guys, just a quick look at the Asus P8, P67 Evo. I'll just quickly show you the box. Um, and the accessories you get with the board. You get two SATA 2 cables and two SATA 3 cables. Um, you get this back panel USB 3 connector. Um, it uses that plug there. I'll show you the header for that on the motherboard in a minute. Asus Q connectors, um, back IO shield, driver's CD, don't use it. Go download the latest drivers from the website. Uh, motherboard user manual and DigiVRM and BT Go user manual, which is the Bluetooth um, and the VRM BIOS settings, of which there is a lot of them for this motherboard. Um, you can check out another video I did um, on the BIOS, the EFI BIOS, on this board. Um, yeah, it's the new Sandy Bridge platform, um, and it has the EFI BIOS with mouse support and a GUI. Um, so this is socket 1155. I'll just go around the board quickly. 8-pin CPU power connector. Um, and there's a chassis fan 1 there, it's 4 pin and 3 pin. Uh, CPU fan header there, uh, power fan header there, that's just 3 pin. Mem OK button, when the computer fails to boot because of incompatible memory, you just press that button um, and it'll, it should boot every time, it just sets safe memory settings. EPU on off switch. There's also a TPU on off switch which I'll show you in a second. Um, EPU and TPU are Asus dual intelligent processors. EPU is for power saving and power efficiency and TPU is for um, tuning um, and performance enhancements. Um, so dual channel um, DDR3 up to 32 gigabytes. I've just got um, G Skill Trident 1600 megahertz in there at the moment, as you can see. Um, the Tridents are in black slots, and the other slots are light blue, as you can see. Um, so there's that USB 3 header that I was talking about. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare cable management because you've got to go from there across to the back panel. The deluxe version of this motherboard has a 5.25 inch adapter, um, so it's in a lot better spot for that. Uh, actually, while I'm talking about the deluxe version of this board, um, the, del the deluxe version is the top of the range of this series of motherboard. This is um, next down in line, and then the Pro is below this. Um, now the only difference between this board and the Deluxe is power phases. This has 12 plus 2 phase power. The Deluxe has um, 16 plus 2 phase power. So it just allows you know a bit more power for overclocking. But seriously, this is plenty of power to go to 5 gigahertz and even beyond 5 gigahertz. Um, it's not a restriction at all. Uh, and the only other difference is that USB 3 header, as I said. Um, so two minor differences and a, quite a massive difference in price. Um, I think the Evo is definitely a bargain compared to the Deluxe. Um, okay, so there's three SATA controllers. The onboard Intel one. Um, uh, Marvel SATA controller and also J-Micron. Um, J Micron does the two on the back, the um, the e SATA ports on the back panel. Sorry, there's two of them. Intel um, does the dark. Um, sorry, the Intel ports are the dark blue and the light blue. Um, the dark blue are SATA three, the light blue are SATA two. The white ports is from the Marvel controller, and they are SATA three as well. Um, now the SATA 2 ports is what Intel is having all their problems with at the moment. Um, they've recalled this board, 
um, and a whole lot of others. Um, the P6, all the P67 and H67 motherboards have been recalled, um, and that's because of a faulty SATA 2 controller. Um, this, so I'll have to send this board back at some stage as well, I think. So there's another three-pin fan header. There's four in total, um, five including the CPU. Power and reset buttons, three USB 2 headers, front panel audio, and there's the TPU switch that I was talking about. Now the PCI slot configuration. Um, the top PCI Express slot is times 16. Um, and that is, um, that will run at time 16 with one video card. If you're running two video cards in SLI or Crossfire X, then you'll get times 8 times 8, so dual times 8. The third slot only runs at times 4, um, so you can't run tri SLI or, um, you know, you can't run three video cards unless you want to run one of them at times four which is would be a horrible performance hit. Um, so yeah that there's your um, PCI config. Um, I can't show you the socket because I'm not pulling the heatsink off again. I've done it enough lately. Under there is a 2600K and it's being cooled by this Danger Dan triple radiator water box. There's three triple radiators in there actually. Um, I've got another video of all that. Um, you can check that out. Okay, now the back panel. Um, I'm sorry about this, I can't really get a... I might just unplug some of these so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so starting at the bottom, 7.1 surround sound, 8 channel audio, um, dual gigabit, ethernet, um, one of them is an Intel port, um, two USB 3 ports and six USB 2 ports on the back panel. Um, so there's Bluetooth, which that blue thing you can see there. Underneath the Bluetooth are two USB 2 and a eSATA. Um, there's two more USB 2 Firewire and powered eSATA. Optical ports and PS2 mouse and keyboard. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think I've covered everything. Alright, thanks for watching guys.